everyone, Peter Hewitt La Artistino. Today is day three of the Monster Challenge. Now I'm afraid you might hear some noises and stuff in the background, they're doing some construction across the road. I've been waiting for a while for it to sort of die down or them to decide to do something that's a little quieter, but I don't think we're going to have any luck today. Anyway, we will get started. Day three is... Day three is, now we've done the harpy, that was Myra. We did the centaur hanging her washing outside. And the third one is slime. Now slime had me stumped for a while. I got a, my sketchbook out and started sketching random pictures. As you can see there, there's all sorts of poses, all sorts of ideas. I eventually drew this one here and I thought that one will do. She looks pretty slimy. And I redrew her in my little Holcroft just cheap sketchbook which takes the ink tents ink particularly well and um, much better than thicker paper, more expensive paper. I keep on the lookout for these sketchbooks. They only occur, um, appear every so often in right art in the city. Pick them up when I can. Anyway, she's in and ready to be painted. I'm going to start with uh, my picking out a couple of ink tense blocks and dissolving some of the um, ink into the water and just using it to put a few washes on the page. I find that's the best way to get some background really fast. So we'll start with that. I'll move that out of the way. Put that in the center and let's... There goes my washes. Okay, now I have picked uh, two kind of darkish colors. Dark greeny, which I think look like slimy colors. I I think looking at my little chart, one of them might be felt green, which is pretty bright coloured green, and the other one, a little bit muted, is probably the spring green. It's a bit lighter. So anyway, I don't have the colours on this chart for my ink tense blocks because the ink tense blocks don't have their colours written on them. Anyway. Here we go, let's start off with the lighter one. And if you remember the technique I'm using is to get nice and wet and give them a little rub with a water brush, chuck in some more water and get that ink coming out of the tip. Hang on, I'll zoom in a little bit and you'll see what I'm doing here. Here you go. Getting some of the ink out into the water to make a nice little puddle. Give it a good scrub for about uh, oh, uh, no, about 15 seconds. There we go, it's getting really add a little bit more water to rinse the brush off into it. Now I like to put my whoop, little ink tense block onto something just to dry out a little bit before I put it away. So it's just an old ice cream container lid. That's one. Let's just test out that colour where have we got my sketchbook. That'll do. That's a handy enough um, thing to use. We'll te test out the colour. That's all right. There, that's nice and that'll make a nice beginning first coat of colour. Right, we'll give that a rinse out there in the water. Alright, and now we're ready for the second block. Again, give it a... Uh, use this one yet have I? Just making sure I'm not using the number side as well. There's a number on one end so I guess if I wanted to I could look up what colour that number is. And there we have it. Two nice little puddles. I'll just test that one. Let's have a look. Yep that looks good to me. We'll use it. And we'll just do a little bit of yellow, slightly tinged for the background. Let's get started. And this 
is a technique where you just let the water dribble down to make some interesting, hopefully slimy looking dribbles and patterns here. Dabbing a little bit and encouraging it.
and there is my slime girl for the third prompt of the 30 day monster girl challenge. I'm really happy how this one came out. I enjoy dribbling the liquid ink tents down the page to get this very organic looking slimy cave and I love how she came out. She looks like she's wearing a slime dress with slime dripping down her and of course using the white Signo Uniball gel pen to give the little highlights and shine on the slime I think brought it all together. I'm very happy with her and um, that's the third challenge done and we will see the fourth challenge next time whatever monster girl we've got in store for that. Until then I hope you're enjoying any art adventures you're having and happy colouring. Hope you're enjoying any colouring adventures that you are currently on and until next time, happy colouring!